Hi, welcome back to True Vision. Right now we're going to walk you through your unboxing and setup of your first True Vision system. So these are all the things that you get whenever you open up the box. Uh, this is the control module right here. This is the brain. Uh, this can be connected to any monitor uh, that you have in your office, but you do have your included one right here and I'll show you how to get that hooked up to it. The first thing that you want to do is connect the HDMI wire in right here and connect the power wire right on the side of it. Next thing you also want to do is inside your keyboard box there is a dongle that sits right here in the top. Very easy to miss, don't forget that. And plug it up into one of the four USB ports on the side. This is pretty much everything you need to do to get set up now. Uh, the next thing is we're going to adhere it to the back of the monitor and we'll swing around and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so now we're going to plug up the wires in the back. First is HDMI. followed by the USB power supply. Then after that, all you have to do is mount your unit to the back of the monitor like this and turn it around. Okay, so the module's finished booting up and as soon as it goes through a little bit more seconds, there you go, um, it's gonna automatically boot to the chart screen. And as soon as you see the white screen, if you just start pressing keys on your keyboard, you are good to go. Um, now, just because it's ready to go with the keyboard doesn't mean that you can access it from any device. So what I'm going to show you how to do right now is connect it to your Wi-Fi. That way you can use it with any of your uh, other digital devices. So the way to exit the chart screen right here is to press Function Alt F4 on the keyboard. Then you mouse over to these two red X's up at the top over here and we'll click that. Right here you can see a list of all available networks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get on ours. And now we're connected. Okay, once your module is connected to the Wi Fi, in, uh, indicated by a steady stream of blue Wi Fi bars up here, you simply come over to the icon on the left, True Vision, double click, execute and your chart window will pop right back up. Now that you've gone through all this process, if you just hit the enter key, it will generate your network IP address right here and that's what you use to connect. Okay, now that we have this number available to us, all I'm simply gonna do is go to Chrome on my phone and in the URL bar up here, I'm just gonna type that number, 192.168.0.77 and as soon as I hit go, it is gonna bring up the control interface for this chart I'm going to press enter to make that go away and I now have control over my eye chart. Whenever you open up your tablet, the browser you want to look for is called Silk Browser right here on the home screen of the tablet. Another thing to keep in mind is that in order to control this device, every device has to be on the same Wi-Fi. Sometimes routers have extra Wi-Fi signals that are generated. You want to make sure you're connected to the exact same one. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to connect to the chart. So that's it. Now you should be set up and ready to check vision. The last thing we're going to talk about in this setup video is how to calibrate your unit. Now we offer pre-calibration services on every single unit that you purchase free of charge. So if you know your room's measurements, you can just forward them to us in an email after you make contact with our company and we will send you all of your units marked by room uh, preset pre to the correct sizes. That way whenever you take it out of the box you're ready to go and you don't even need to set anything up. Uh, but in case you do need to set something up or you want to move one unit to another room that has different measurements, here's how you would go about doing it. Pressing the enter key brings you to the calibration screen here. Uh, you're already familiar with the IP address, but over here are all the sizes that pertain to the 2020 line. So from the the, the regular screen right here, press the letter S on the keyboard and this brings up 2020. You can tell that with the 2020 marking down here. Uh, if you press enter again, suppose that your room is 15 feet long. What you do is just find 15 feet right here and you want to set 2020 to 6.6 .6 millimeters. So all we do is we come over here and hold a ruler up. This is a clear ruler that we got from the dollar store. It works really, really good because you can see the letters there. And just press the up arrow or the down arrows until you get to six and a half millimeters. And I'm measuring the end right there because it has a straight edge on it and that's it that is a 2020 calibrated line at 15 feet so now if you start going up to all the other letters it will give you um, pre-calibrated sizes based on what the 2020 line was set to and that's it